I'd like to know what a function is and what the inverse of a function is. She wants to know what is a function and what is the inverse of a function. Yes, what is a function and what is the inverse of a function? Um, what is functional, if you think about it, guys? What would you say? Think of a relationship between a guy and a girl. Okay, here's a very romantic take on a function. Do you agree that, guys, if you've got a, uh, if you've got a girlfriend, like okay, you going out, so this, this good-looking young man, yeah, he's got a girlfriend, but at the same time, simultaneously, he's got another girlfriend. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> so this young man's got two girlfriends. Mm -hmm. That's not very functional, do you agree? Because yes. you know why? Because the two girls aren't going to be very happy with him dating both of them. Do you agree at the same time? Talk about simultaneous equations. <laughs> <laughs> now, the thing is, listen to me. A function is supposed to be very difficult, but let me show you exactly what it is. It says a graph is a function if only one x value on the graph is only ever associated with one y value. Now listen to me, I want you to think of the x as, as, as the boy and the y is the girl. The girl always says, why did I go out with him? That's why she's called a y value, you see. So here's the x value is the boy and the y value is the girl. Okay, now remember, if that relationship is going to be functional, one boy to one girl, do you see? But one boy to two girls or more, not gonna work. Okay, that's not functional. Now in maths, one boy must go out with one girl. Do you see Amanda? Mm -hmm. Now I know, I mean the Galeza Nazi clan, you probably, you, you guys and girls have got a lot of different people that wanna go out with you. But now in maths, let's take a parabola. Look at this graph, y equals a half x squared. Okay, now, if you have a look at this, how did I get these points? Well, if you think about it, the minus two, let's just go back a little bit there and I'll show you. Negative two is associating with two. Can you see that there? One boy, the x values on the x-axis, one x is associating with one y value. So minus two is dating two. Do you see that there? Now, what about over here? Naught is dating naught. And these two are very into each other. Oh, you remind me so much of me. No. <laughs> you see, nought is a nought. Nought goes with nought. These are, they've got a lot in common, eh? Mm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then two is dating two. Here's again. You can see, so what we've got here is a function. Can you see that there? One x associates with one y. Do you guys know how to get, if you've got x is equal to two, how to get the y value? Can I show you quickly, yes. just as a matter of interest, but this is very important for, for functions. Okay, now watch this. If you've got x is equal to two, two, now you've got y is a half x squared. Okay, now watch how easy this is. If you plug in the x and you put in two, what is two squared? Four. Two squared is four and what's half? Four. It's two. It's two. So there's your x and that's your why. So do you agree with me there's one boy associating with one girl? See how romantic this is, Amanda? And this is what we call a function, okay. So, now, what actually happens is when you take an inverse of a, a quadratic function, for example, let's have a look at this. Say you, you take x is equal to minus one, naught and one. Okay, you with me there? Okay, now if we if we work out the corresponding y, y values, remember y is equal to x squared, so if you square them, you get 1, naught and 1. Do you agree? 1 squared is 1, yes. naught squared is naught, and negative 1, all squared gives you then 1. one. Okay, so it's very easy to draw that graph. And there we go. Okay, you're happy with that. Negative 1, 1, naught, naught, and 1, 1. Okay, so is this graph a function? Would you say it's a function? Let's have a look. Okay. Minus one is associating with? One. one. Okay, cool, let's write that down. You see, people get this, they, they battle with this, the, all these funny words. Minus one is associating with one. What about naught? Naught is associating with naught, and one is associating with one. This is a function. In fact, if you take a ruler and you move from left to right across there, you'll see that you only ever cut the graph once. You see, in other words, that ruler as it moves only ever cuts once. One x associates with one y. This, boys and girls in Mzanzi, is what we call a function. Okay, now that's in the important part of this one. Okay, now, the inverse, now listen to me very carefully. When you invert or get an inverse, all you gotta do, people get too technical about this, swap x and y around. 
Okay, look at this. So if you interchange X and Y, remember what were these guys? These were the X's mm. and these were the Y's. Right. So if you do that, notice Y equals X squared. Mm -hmm. What did I do? I swapped X. Y equals X squared. X equals y, y squared. squared. Is that difficult? No. X says, I want some changes in my life. I'm swapping <laughs> around with you. I'm tired of being Y equals X squared. I want to be squared. So Y says, okay, so X says, don't panic, don't chill, 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 chill. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm going to swap you around. So X is Y squared. Look how brilliant that is. Now, all you do, don't get caught up with funny mathematics. That Y becomes X and that X becomes Y. So, so you swap. That used to be X and Y. Now, just watch it. You've got the table. Guys, just simply go, Y. Everyone in Zandi, all of you, put your hands like this, Y. Is that typical <laughs> maths? Yeah. Swap around. That's all it is. Now, this is what we call an inverse. Now, look at this. If you draw this, Okay, we've got, they call that the inverse, F negative one like that. That's called the inverse. What is Y equals X squared is F, the graph of F, a function, one X to one Y. Now suddenly you swap them around. We call it F negative one. Okay, that's called an inverse. Now look at this. Now here's something interesting. If you draw the graph of this, okay, this is mine. That's our normal X squared graph. Now if you invert it, let's just go back a bit. If you have a look at x becomes 1, 0, and 1, and the y values interchange. So if you look at this, if that's minus 1, 1, if you swap them around, it's 1, negative 1. Do you agree? Yes. Negative 1, 1, 1, negative, negative 1. one. See? So there's 1, negative 1. Okay. There's your x is equal to y squared, y squared is x. And then if you've got one, one, well, if you swap them around, no problem, and naught, naught stays the same. So in other words, do you notice what's happened here as the graph has fallen over? So I was a parabola, see? Smile <laughs> and I go like this, I'm gonna do a bit of a dance here. Y equals x squared f, Whew. falls on its side, wah, wah. Okay, <laughs> that's called the inverse. This is how difficult maths is. F, f negative one, everyone do this, wah. Wow. That is the <laughs> inverse graph. Now look at this. Now you want to be technical, watch this. Y squared is equal to X. So Y could be plus minus the root of X if you square root both sides. And the top guy, if you look at this, this is a graph of the square root of X. Isn't that amazing? Did you ever know what the square root of X looks like? There it is. And what is beautiful about this mathematics, look at this. The top dude is Y equals positive square root X. Isn't that cool? And what do you think the bottom one will be? y equals negative square root x. So see how easy it is. So the top one, y equals x squared. The, the one that's fallen to the right is called x equals y squared. How do we solve for y? Well, if you square root both sides, we always put plus minus in, remember from grade 11? Yeah. So you get the root of x. The square root of x is a parabola that's on its side. Okay, it was standing up and it went gunk. On, and it went down. Why? Wow. You see how easy that is? And look at that. The X and Y's are swapped around. That's as simple as it gets. I always say to students, you know, draw the graph. Y equals X squared. Y equals whatever. You simply, you use a little table. You get your X values, your Y values, and what do you do? You simply swap the X and Y around. So what was X becomes Y? Is that, is that difficult? No. No. You see, people make math so difficult. It's so simple. This. And remember, what is a function? 1X to 1Y. You see, so if you take a ruler across now, but now look at this. If you go here, if you take this top graph, do you agree it's a function? But now have a look at something here with this inverse graph, the f of negative one, y equals um, plus minus root x, this inverse, this parabola. Do you notice it's not a function? Because look at the x value one. One is going out with that y value one, but at the same time is going out with negative one. Now that's a huge problem. In maths, 1x to 1y. But what have you got here? One, an x value is going to two different values, two y values. One boy is dating at the same time two, two girls. girls. And the two girls aren't going to be very happy with that. Okay. Um, they, you know, a girl likes full attention. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. So, guys, now the next part of the lesson is how do we do something to, to these graphs so that you can keep the inverse a function? So, don't go away. This is important. My question is, could you please explain how we restrict the domain of a function so that its inverse still remains a function? Very, very good question. How do we restrict the domain of a function so that its inverse also remains 
a function? Very good question. How do we restrict the domain of a, fun of a function so that its inverse is also a function? Let's just go back to the previous lesson. Now, guys, do you remember, all of you, everybody in studio watches this, and Zanzi, come with me, come with me, maths is easy. People always battle with this thing, you know, what's a function? Now, check it out. Look at this, there, do you agree y equals x squared is that guy there? Okay, well, this is a function because minus one goes with one, one goes with one, naught goes with one. One x two, one y. Do you see that there? And if you took a ruler, just simply take, if you took this ruler and you move it across from left to right, if, the, if, you, if, you, if there's a parabola, look at that, you're only ever cutting once. Do you see that there? Great, that's a function. But when the parabola goes like this, look at this guys, visualize that. There's a parabola. Do you agree that the ruler will cut there and there, two places? One x two, two y's okay so x equals y squared is the inverse here and of course we got that there y is plus minus the root of x y equals x squared y equals plus minus root x now do you agree with me the problem is that this inverse the parabola on its side is not a function do you agree because look at that the one is going with one there and one goes with minus one there can you see that there Okay, so that's not a function. If you take a ruler and you move it across, it's gonna, it'll pass through two points there. Can you see that there? Okay, so what do we do? Very easy. I've got a thing called the bird and the fish. Okay, the bird and the fish rule. Now watch this. Okay, what I could do, if I go to my original parabola, y equals x squared, and I remove the left side, I cut it off. Are you with me? Now, in other words, what I've done is, if you think about it carefully, I'm going to put a little bit of a, a, a point here. Let's have a look here. If you go, if we put, say, minus 1, x is minus 1, 1, that's no longer on the graph. Do you agree? Because we've removed it. But what's, what's the inverse? If you swap minus 1 and 1 around, you're going to get 1 negative 1. Now, 1 negative 1 is down here somewhere. Hey, 1 negative 1. Okay. Now, again, can you see that there? That's where the inverse would have been. Do you see that there? The inverse would have been there. So if you remove that left piece, where that point was minus one, one, if you look at this, one negative one, if you swap them around, do you agree we're gonna remove the bottom piece? So what you then get is if you keep the right piece and you, you remove the left piece, look at that, you get a fishy. Like a little fish swims in the sea. One of those things, you know those amoeba things that go like this? Yes. And they come and eat Amanda, you know. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So these things, that's a fishy. Look at that. So in other words, if you take the right branch and you scrap the left one, in other words, you have y is the square root of x, okay? Then you scrap the bottom piece here and you get a fish. You see? And both are functions. That's a function and that, because if you take a ruler and move it across, it'll only ever cut one each of these graphs separately at one point. So there's your fish. So if they give you a parabola, all you do is you draw the fishy. If you take the right side, see there? So that going up there and that going there. So it goes wah, 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 fishy, eat, eat the fishes, okay. And then the other one is if you do, and then of course that's the inverse, we write it like that. That's the positive version. Okay, and you can say x is for those going for as x is greater than naught and y is greater than, and it just means that the x and y values are positive. Now, what about if you go the other way? What if we scrap the right piece? Look at that. Okay, so we're scrapping the right piece. So if we get the inverse, look at that. There's the inverse. We scrap that top piece, and you get a bird. Do you see that there? So there it is. There. That's y equals the negative one. So it's the fish and the bird, and that's all you do. And both of them are gonna be now functions. So when you get an original parabola, you invert it, you don't get a function. So you either, there's two cases, the fish and the bird. The one is the little fishy, the other is moi, moi, or the bird, which flaps around like that. You can see it with its wings going like that. And that's all there is. Function, one x to one y, inverse, swap x and y around, and you just restrict the domain. Is that not easy or what? Yes, I'm not